Hey guys, welcome to Series World. Today I'm going to explain a mystery thriller of series called Lady Warrior from 2023. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. On December 31st at 11:57 p.m., a woman named Miranda is recording audio for her voice journal as she drinks while standing on her balcony. She sees that the year she lived two lives is about to an end, and in this year she fell in love with two men, but one of them died and it is her fault. She is blaming herself for the man's death when a person comes comes from behind her and starts choking and dragging her by tying a piece of cloth around her neck the story goes 3 months back to the present day when miranda is recording audio for her journal on the 1st of october she starts by saying that she just turned 28 and it is her birthday but she doesn't want to see anyone miranda elaborates by saying that she doesn't want to see anyone in person but she likes to watch others without being seen and ever since cleo moved in it has been more interesting to watch cleo is a prostitute who moved into the apartment across from her and meets with her clients in there. Miranda has hacked the security cameras of Cleo's building as she explains that the security system of that building was so bad a child can hack into the system. She is still looking into the security footage of Cleo's building and sees a man coming into her apartment. Miranda doesn't recognize the man as a previous client, but she is intrigued by his mysterious personality even though according to her she likes the Friday client better. Remembering about the Friday client, she ignores the scene in front of her and takes the previous recording of Friday and starts to watch it. She is immersed in watching the video when she notices the recent client leaving Cleo's apartment without doing anything with Cleo. She is concerned about Cleo as she looks sad but says to herself that it is good he paid her before leaving. The next morning Miranda wakes Wakes with the ringing of the doorbell. She goes to open the door and finds her friend Rita there, who brought her breakfast. Rita immediately starts talking, saying that if she didn't bring breakfast, Miranda wouldn't eat, and then proceeds to tell her about her intimate life with her new boyfriend. Miranda interrupts her, saying that she doesn't like the man because he has no information about him on social media, which is a little suspicious. But Rita says that it is nothing like that because he is just a shy person, and Miranda is just being obnoxious. Rita. then says that she should also look for a man like him for her and go out of the house more so she could find someone for herself their chatting is interrupted when miranda gets a notification on her phone about cleo starting a live video streaming rita is surprised by the fact that she has the notifications for her neighbor's live but miranda says that her life is more interesting than theirs combined and proceeds to watch the video meanwhile in another part of the city a man named hator gets the results of a dna test of a child and finds that their legit father has zero chance of being a real father he is shocked to see the result but quickly turns off the computer when he hears his wife and daughter coming into the house he quickly gives attention to his daughter lucia and asks her about the visit to the doctor for her arm lucia replies that she is fine but is interrupted by her mother who angrily says that she wouldn't be fine if she were with her father and then tells her to get ready for school he don't goes to scold his wife for the rude behavior but lucia calls her father back stopping an upcoming fight That day, Miranda goes to meet her grandmother who is suffering from Huntington. Her grandmother asks her about her mother, but when Miranda says that she couldn't come today, her grandmother gets angry and have another attack where she forgets who Miranda is and keeps shouting at her to go away. Miranda meets her grandmother's nurse after that who reminds her to take the test because this disease is an inherited disease, but Miranda refuses saying that she knows she has a big chance of getting it, so there is no need for the test. While coming back home, she sits on the side of the road and talks to herself that she is scared to find out that she has this disease and that is why she is keeping a voice journal so she could remember everything that happened to her even if she wants to forget her past. She suddenly gets a flashback of her past, remembering her mother's funeral and how her sister blamed her for their mother's death. She finally stands up to go back home and meets Cleo on the road. Miranda asks Cleo if her computer is working properly now, revealing that she hacked into Cleo's computer. when she went to check her device for a virus on a friday night miranda eagerly waits for cleo's client when he finally comes there she touches herself while watching them be intimate with one another later that night cleo comes to her apartment and requests her to take care of her dog for the weekend 
saying that one of her clients invited her to spend the weekend with them. Miranda accepts the offer and on October 8th, she goes to Cleo's apartment at night. She is excited to be alone in the apartment and messes with everything Cleo has in her apartment. She wears Cleo's makeup, a wig and a fancy dress. She is finished getting ready when suddenly the doorbell rings. She quickly goes to see through the peephole and sees a handsome man standing outside. She is reluctant but still opens the door and instantly tells the man she is not Cleo. He replies that he noticed she is not Cleo but still continues to seduce her. She tries to resist at first but slowly gives up and ends up having sex with the man. Meanwhile, on the other side, Cleo is with Hator in his suite when they are caught by his wife Diana. Diana leaves the suite after finding that Cleo is a prostitute but Hator follows her and says that he wants a divorce. She replies that he can file for the divorce but she will keep their daughter and will drag him into court. She leaves after that while Hator gets a flashback of fighting with a man about a woman and then pushing the man into a swimming pool. He quickly comes back to Cleo and asks her to make him forget about everything. Back in Cleo's apartment, the man gives her some money and then leaves after saying that he would love to meet her again. Miranda is still thinking about how amazing was her day when the doorbell rings again as another client of Cleo's is at the door. This man is much older and says that he paid money to see Cleo tonight. Miranda tells him that Cleo is out of town but he refuses to listen to her and instead forces him himself inside, saying that he is okay with Miranda too. She tries to push him out and screams for help but nothing works as the man forces himself on her. He takes her inside the room where she finally manages to push him back as he hits the end of the table before falling down and growing unconscious. The man from before had come to pick up the wallet that he forgets and sees the scene unfold in front of him. He tells Miranda to calm down and goes to check on the old man but finds that he already died. Miranda is devastated by this as she gets the flashback of her childhood and starts crying saying that this is not her fault but no one will believe her. The man says that he saw what happened so she doesn't need to worry as they will find a better way to handle this. He then says that when he came back, no one was at the front desk and they just need to get rid of the old man's trays and make it look like it never happened. They paste the body as he says that he will take it to his SUV in the garage. Miranda stops him for a while as she quickly erases the camera footage of the building. Before he could take the body, they introduce themselves and Miranda finds that his name is Fernando. They then carefully take the body to the garage where Fernando tells her to go back and wait for him there. She comes back up and searches for Fernando on the internet and finds that he is married and has a daughter. When Fernando comes back up, she says that she is turning herself in to the police because she can't put Fernando through it. He replies to her that even in self-defense, she killed a guy and he says it is happening so there is no way any one of them will get out if she reported it to the police. He then says that this is not the first time he is an accomplice to a murder and proceeds to tell her that her sister's husband, Hator, is an abusive man who once killed their common friend, Bernardo, by drowning him in a swimming pool. As they clean the apartment, he says that he covered for the murder at that time, thinking it was an accident but now he feels guilty for that and wants to save his sister and niece. He says that they suspect Hator is involved in human trafficking and Cleo is helping him in the case as Hator is a very influential man and they need evidence against him. Fernando says that it would be great if she could help them to, as she can, hack into Hator's computer and try to find the missing girls. Miranda agrees to his offer and Fernando wants her to be careful of Hator's charms as they go to meet him in his office. The story goes back to three months later when Miranda was getting attacked by a man who pushes her off the building after choking her. To watch more explanations of these kind of series, click on the videos on your screen and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below and at last thanks for watching